you for joining us tonight. First at six, a major breakthrough to curb sex trafficking right here in the Miami Valley. A task force aimed at stopping sex crimes makes two pivotal arrests, and our cameras are there. This is a story you'll see only on two. Maytal Levy walks us through how law enforcement is cleaning up our community. Years ago, prostitution and other sex crimes were a huge problem in Dayton. Today, police tell me with the internet being a prime source for sex trafficking, that problem has spread throughout the Miami Valley. Wow, you guys are sweet, ain't you? Yeah. What's your, what's your name, sweetie? The area's regional sex trade organized response unit, or R Storm, is cracking down on sex trafficking. This week, R Storm officials may have had a breakthrough. We spoke with those undercover police on camera, but can't show you their faces. Two individuals that we suspect that may be involved in sex trafficking, where they're forcing or severely manipulating uh, women into sex acts uh, with other men for money. This is video from Riverside Police Department's undercover camera. 23 year old Cameron Manette from Wisconsin. Police believe may play a significant role in the sex trade. Everything's back in the palms together. Stay relaxed, man, all right? Mm -hmm. When we're in dealing with individuals that are sex traffickers, uh, they treat these women like they're a lower form of life in a, in a lot of ways. They use them. They, they are not human beings. Is one of these your mission? Keep your vehicle. Officers made 13 arrests this week. The clientele um, that the prostitutes bring in and the Johns are all from uh, a vastly different background. There, there's no specific demographic uh, of the people that are involved in the sex trade. That's why the, we uh, try to combat it going after whoever is involved in it. Officers picked up Nathan Allen. They say he came to a Riverside apartment to meet a woman, but police were the ones waiting. Similar story for Rachel Hobbs, also shown in an undercover Riverside police video. Police tell us she has a history of sex charges. They busted her on two counts of solicitation. Addie's medic story is a little different. He was busted during his lunch break from work, originally from Bosnia, here in the U.S. on a green card. Our storm knows they won't be able to completely stop the sex trade industry. But they say it doesn't mean they'll stop trying. To stop answering at any time. Hopefully help clean up some of the communities in the greater Miami Valley. Our storm asks if you see anything in your community and suspect sex trafficking, call 333-STOP. Maytal Levy, 2 News, working for you.